Here Come the Dogs came about because I lived through the Canberra bushfires in around 2002, I think 2003. And I remember thinking it was just such a cataclysmic, apocalyptic, kind of elemental Australian event that I wanted to write about. And I just had some images trapped in my head of the black sky and the red sun. And I didn't know where I was going to put it, whether it was going to be in a song, a play, a short story. But I hadn't written a novel, uh, I hadn't written any fiction. And so I decided 10 years after that, that I would start trying to do that. And so I started writing this verse novel style that combined poetry, a bit of slang, hip hop culture, and that was Here Come the Dogs. Watching hailstones as big as fists crack windscreens and dent letterboxes, bouncing meters high off the asphalt and racing over the street like runaways, a complete fury of white. I'd like to think that I have a particular cadence and flow that I bring from hip hop and bring from spoken word poetry to narrating the audiobook, but it is an entirely different beast. You're kind of sitting there trying to get the nuances of the different voices, the different accents, and you suddenly realize, I'm not an actor, I'm a poet and a rapper. Keep it up, it's all about rhythm, like music, like dancing. Dancing? Gasps Charlie, a chubby blonde kid. Don't knock dancing, mate. It'll help you learn balance. I'm not exactly sure if I have a vision for people like Solomon, Jimmy and Alex. I know that they live with a lot of powerlessness a lot of chaos. I think that Australia might be a better society if we try to learn more about our neighbours. It all starts with storytelling, learning more nuanced, complex, complicated stories uh, that can help us understand our neighbours, their backgrounds, their ethnicities, their religions. Because I think in Australia, oftentimes we are too quick to judge people simply and harshly, put them in boxes, reduce them to mere stereotypes. And if we add complexity and nuance to that and we hear from young men like Jimmy, Solomon and Alex, we can understand them better.